This is Rob Tullis from DamonTown.com. Um, at Damontown, we talk a lot about WordPress, a lot about starting a business online, um, the things that my wife and I have done to earn a living while we've traveled the world, and we've made a living working online. So I do get asked a lot of questions about uh, blogging and SEO, and over the last six years, I've learned a lot myself on the topic. And one question that I constantly am being asked from new bloggers, bloggers who are just starting out, or maybe they don't even have a blog yet, but they, they want to start out and they want to create their first website, is the subject of multiple topics on one blog. Uh, this week alone, I've been emailed twice. I was asked in a Facebook group once, and I've seen the question in two other groups one time each. So five times in the last five days, I've seen this question asked. So I thought I would address it today. Um, I'll read the one question that I received online. And it says, Rob, we're about to consider blogging on several topics on one site. We would blog on a form of parenting, travel, health, and fitness. We have slash will have a unique perspective on each. And I believe there is a way we can cross reference these topics together. Do you see a downside of having more than one category on a single URL? Will this hurt Google's ability to rank a site as an authoritative site if it, if it does this? Thanks. Yes, I do believe that. I believe it will be hurt. I don't believe your SEO will be worthwhile. I don't believe you'll be easily be able to rank. Um, there's a lot of other reasons why I don't think this is a good idea. If you are a new blogger and you're just starting out, I know you want to write about a lot of different things. You have a lot of different ideas. You have a lot of different interests. Most people do. Trouble is that most people don't have the exact same combination of interests that you do. So finding an audience could be very, very difficult. That's one of the biggest things is, is to find readers and users. Um, to create a readership, you really need to have um, a blog on a topic. For example, if, if I'm looking for photography tips, Am I going to go to a blog that is dedicated to photography and to photography tips? Or am I going to go to a blog that blogs about religion, a little bit of photography, a little bit of dog care, a little bit of politics? No, I'm not going to go to that blog. I'm going to go to the photography blog. That's the blog that I want to go to. That's the blog that I'm going to subscribe to to get my photography information. I'm not going to go to a multi-topic blog. So getting readers and getting subscribers is going to be extremely difficult for a blog that has multiple topics. For example, you want to do a parenting blog, um, a travel blog uh, with fitness. Okay, what is if I don't agree with your parenting techniques? Why would I take your advice on travel or fitness or baby care if I don't agree with your parenting advice? So it, it makes it extremely difficult. Another reason why you don't want to start it is Google and SEO. Google, over the last number of years, has really been going towards um, authority sites. And they've tried different ways of measuring authority, but having multiple topics means you need to be an authority in each topic, which means you need to have an incredible amount of content. content. Most of the blogs or websites out there that are multi-topic have huge staffs, have multiple writers, have lots of people that are contributing to the website itself. It's not a single person or a single family blog. Um, and because they have multiple people contributing, they can have people that have expertise in different areas. If you are a single blogger or a husband and wife blogger, it, it will take a lot of work for you to become an authority in Google's eyes uh, when you're just starting out. As well, I think that a personal style blog can come across boring. I mean, not everybody wants to hear your theory and your uh, ideas about every topic that you think is worthwhile. Um, so I think it can become boring. And it, again, it, it goes to readership. It's just going to be difficult. It's also bad for making money. Um, as I mentioned a few seconds ago, <clears throat> if you can't get subscribers to your blog, um, it's going to be very difficult to make money on a regular basis. If you have a multi-topic blog, again, if I want to go to a photography blog and purchase something photography related, that's where I'm going to go. I'm not going to go to the dog care, relationship, dating, photography website. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just not a great idea. 
Now, some of you may disagree. You can leave it in the comments below. Um, there will always be examples of, of uh, blogs that have made it or been successful. Um, but again, if you are a single person or husband-wife team that is starting your first blog, becoming an authority on more than one topic at a time is going to require an incredible amount of work or an incredible amount of money to purchase articles to put in front of people. Uh, Google's going to look at how many articles you have on the topic, how are they interrelated, how are they linked together. You know, I think personally Google's now looking at blogs that uh, that require tens, 20 articles on one topic. I had one person ask me about uh, why they weren't ranking for a, uh, an article that they wrote on a particular road in Hawaii. And I said, it's really simple. It's your only post on Hawaii. Google's not going to rank you for it. I went to the first page and I looked at all the, the, the top three uh, websites on that particular road in Hawaii were all dedicated to that particular road in Hawaii. They had 25, 30 articles on just that road and the sites that you could see on that road. So a blog that just comes along and writes one article on it is not an authority on it, is not going to be ranked. It's that simple. So the best thing I can say is do not start a blog with multiple topics. Pick your niche, pick the niche that excites you the most, start writing about it, write lots and lots of great content that is related to each other on that topic. In a year or 18 months, once you've seen what it takes to become successful for one topic, then make the decision whether you're going to add a second topic or a third topic, or if you're going to start a second or third blog. Right now, my wife and I have about six, six different websites, and they are all, all are on different topics. So what, that brings up one other point. When you're picking your domain name, if you envision that you may want to have more than one topic or that you may choose to go in a different direction at some point, then I would highly recommend you pick a name that can be branded, a widely brandable name. Don't pick a specific name. Don't put photos by Rob if you think you might do a travel website or you might do a fitness website because it's not going to work with photos by Rob. You know, one of the reasons why I picked the word Damon Town was because it could be anything that I wanted it to be. It could be um, an SEO WordPress website. It could be a photography website. It could be a travel website it could be just about anything that I wanted it to be. Now, my wife and I do have a travel site. It's called The Expat Experiment. And we knew that we weren't going to change the uh, the topic or we weren't going to change the direction of the blog. I mean, we have lots of different articles and we've learned a lot since we started it in 2012. And if I had to create it over again, I would do it differently. And I think we'd be a lot more, we would have been a lot more successful a lot quicker had I done it differently. But you can read more about that in a couple of posts I've written about this topic. Um, there will be a post in the in the links below regarding writing um, multiple topic blogs versus single topic blogs. And there's also a very important one about content strategy. When my wife and I first started out, nobody talked about content strategy and, and what we needed to do to make a blog successful. And having your content strategy is, is very important. And once you understand what you need to do to rank in Google today, it would become very clear to most people that starting a blog that has multiple topics is a really bad idea. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed that. Please subscribe. Uh, click the button below for subscribe and please uh, click on the little bell there to be notified of new videos. I'm going to make this a, a uh, regular occurrence on Damon Town. We are going to, I'm going to answer a lot more questions. Um, if you, in this format. So leave your questions in the comments. If you have any other questions on anything blog related, anything WordPress related, SEO related, Google related, leave the comment, leave it in the comments below. And if I like the question, maybe I'll do a video on it. Thanks. Have a great day.